Hey everybody, Mr. Regan here. And up to this point, you have been looking at these mystery fossils that we have just found. And we're gonna be looking to figure out where in this museum that we're gonna be sorting them based on what kind of species and organisms they are related to and what they kind of look like. To begin thinking about this, we're gonna be doing a card sorting activity that's gonna get you thinking about the different similarities and differences living and non-living organisms have with one another. And to do that, we're going to be completing the next set of tasks where we look to find differences and similarities in some different cards. And we're going to be looking at how to group our species within the next set of tasks. So when you get to the next set of tasks, you're going to see a lot of things going on here. You're going to see some sorting cards here that you'll click on. You're going to see some boxes with four different similarities. And you're going to see some icons with different species images on there. Your job is going to be first to go into the sorting cards here and learn about all of these different species you see here. The sorting cards, as you can see here, start with this species right here and ends with our great white shark. Each slide has some information about them, whether or not they're living, whether or not they're extinct, what sort of things um, those we know about those organisms, where they lived, how they lived. It'll have some bones that show you what their skeleton looked like. And it'll have a little icon to represent. The black camel looking icon here uh, represents this species here. And as you go through and as you're looking at them, your job is to try to find some similarities based on the information you see here and their body structures that we see here as well. Because once you've learned about all of them, you're going to be coming back into here and you're going to be looking to group them based on their similarities. So your job is to find some similarities and to put those species that have those similarities into groups together. Hopefully, as we group our species, we try to find as many groups as they could possibly fit into based on those similarities. We're going to try to fit all of them into our boxes as best we can, but an example of this would be uh, maybe we put these two organisms together. Okay. And the similarity is they both have humps. Okay. My goal then is to try to figure out what other similarities can I group my remaining with. And my goal is to try to get all of them grouped together in some way, shape, or form so that they all have a group based on their similarities as best I can. And so on. I'll obviously record the similarities that they have in each box. If I don't use all the boxes, that's okay. But once I've grouped them here in this first ta set of tasks, I'm then going to go into the next set of tasks and try to group them by different or new similarities, I should say. So before I grouped my camel looking species together, now I'm going to try to group them with some other organisms and some similarities that I might have. They might have, again, trying to get all of them grouped with each other using as many boxes as I need. Maybe I need all four, maybe I need three, maybe I need two, okay? So that's how we find similarities and differences in the sorting cards based on the information or body structures and how we group our species and complete the next tasks. If you have questions, reach out. Otherwise, good luck.